I'm Daniel Gross. And I'm Indiana Cuneva. And we're here to tell you why you should join Beta Gamma Sigma. I joined Beta Gamma Sigma because of the honor that it implies. It tells employers that I was successful in the classroom. Employers realize that it takes hard work to get into Beta Gamma Sigma. And future success relies on past success. So employers realize that because I've succeeded in the past, I can succeed in the future. I joined Beta Gamma Sigma because of the society's international recognition. I thought that would be a good way to distinguish myself from my peers back home and my peers here in the United States. Beta Gamma Sigma has over 500 collegiate chapters on six continents with members in over 160 countries. Beta Gamma Sigma is truly an international honor. Beta Gamma Sigma has over 675,000 lifetime members. That's a huge network for someone just coming out of college. You can use that network to connect with other members and even find job and internship opportunities. Everybody in the Beta Gamma Sigma network has achieved high academic success, just like you. This means that when you access that network, you'll be working with the best in business. Beta Gamma Sigma provides you with many opportunities to connect with members all over the world. You can access the online member directory uh, on the Beta Gamma Sigma's website and you can also uh, join the Beta Gamma Sigma LinkedIn group where over 30,000 students and professionals participate in discussions about uh, graduate schools and job posting. Also, the Society has over 20 alumni chapters which give you the opportunity to stay in touch with Beta Gamma Sigma members after you graduate from college. Now that I'm a member of Beta Gamma Sigma, I realize that there are tons of other benefits, especially while you're a student. One of those benefits is scholarships. Beta Gamma Sigma awards outstanding chapters scholarships every year. These scholarships then go straight to Beta Gamma Sigma members, lowering the cost of their education. Another great reason to join Beta Gamma Sigma is their student leadership forum. This gives students across the world an opportunity to come together and develop their leadership skills. If you choose to join Beta Gamma Sigma, you will be able to take advantage of the benefits the Society offers to its members, not only now as a student, but also once you graduate from college. Some of those great lifetime benefits include discounts. There are tons of discounts on publications, products, and test prep. Some publication discounts that are great for new members are one-year free subscriptions to Bloomberg Business Week and Fortune magazine. Those don't raise the membership fee cost at all. Also, there are product discounts on things like clothing, insurance, and tons of other things. A lot of students will decide to go on to graduate school or study for professional exams like the CPA. So test prep discounts like our Kaplan test prep discount, our Princeton Review discount, and our Becker CPA discount really adds value to membership. We hope that the information we shared with you today has been uh, useful and you will choose to join Beta Gamma Sigma. So I just want you first to see how you get to the website. It's very simple. So once you go to the, uh, the Consultants College of Business uh, and you uh, click on uh, student clubs and organizations, our organization comes first, alphabetic order, which we are lucky. And then if you click in, you get to our website. Um, so we, add, we all the time add to our website things, whatever happens, whatever we uh, do, we add every time. And it's a good way to kind of check in into the website. Uh, this are, these pictures are taken from two years ago uh, induction ceremony. But uh, I'll show you what else we have on this website. So the first thing is it tells about the organization. Okay, the history uh, of the organization. Okay, it's a very established organization, as you see, only ASCSB accredited schools. 
are a part of uh, can be chapters in this organization. So it's very, very uh, prestigious, established organization. Um, the second thing you can see here is the values, which we actually, when we do the induction ceremony, we really ask you to repeat these values. They are, you know, honor and wisdom. So they are very nice um, values that you are actually um, um, associate yourself with. Uh, the other thing is um, objectives of this. So what, what actually they are, the mission and the objective. So you can learn a little bit about the organization. The other thing we did uh, is how to become a member. That's probably a lot of you ask uh, what you need to do. And basically, it's the 10 top percent of students, undergraduates, and it's 20% of MBAs. So MBAs as well uh, as undergraduates are eligible. And we do the invitations. So it's not some selection. You cannot become a member if you just want to. You have to be invited, and then you can choose whether you want to or not. Uh, if you look also, we have uh, the benefits here. If you, you want to check out what are the benefits that you can get while becoming a member, it's a one-time fee. And also we have here um, how many people or who are the people that were inducted. So if you already see, this is the last this is the last year uh, in, in, uh, when we inducted. We induct <coughs> faculty, we induct speakers that come. You see that last year there was a speaker from Time Warner. Uh, and we also uh, have masters, seniors, and juniors. We have members that go back up, up to 2007. And we have more and more uh, participation every, every year. Um, here we have two events we usually do. One of them is, this is this year, uh, we did the induction ceremony, we had the president uh, come in, uh, we had a very big group, and as you see many people like to buy the uh, stalls, the honor stalls, and we do the ceremony together and, and you know, you pledge and so forth. You have also we do a ceremony there with um, excellence. Um, awards in different uh, areas and it's really very very exciting uh, event because if you bring your family you can share it with people that you care about okay and we, we you are you are getting uh, you can go to this uh, this event for after you pay the membership for free uh, everyone that you bring as a guest need to pay uh, and we, we send the in, uh, information once we invite you we send that information but this is this year event, this is the last year event. Uh, we had another speaker, we had more, uh, also again, it's the same. We had it in a different place, but uh, we are going to stick with the place we did last year because it's very beautiful, very, very nice place. So you have that. Another event that we started to do uh, from last winter, actually, and, and uh, we have uh, Lucy the weather, she will talk about it. It's uh, the leadership forum. Uh, we will. We are in the process of selecting the pictures. I'll show you the pictures in a different PowerPoint, but we, it will be also posted on on uh, on this website. So this event is um, it's a leadership forum. It is uh, done over a weekend, and it's um, again you learn there are different skills. I'll let uh, Lucy talk later about it. So and also show you the pictures of the of the last event that actually mm -hmm. you, you you were there. Okay. So that's another thing we do. Uh, another thing that we still ha did not uh, have the opportunity to take advantage of, we were very close this year. That's why we are doing these events of PE and trying to raise awareness. Because many students are invited, but they are not sure what it is, so they just ignore it. And then if, uh, if the number of students that um, re, uh, become members after we invite you uh, is uh, up against to 75%. Um, we can start to get scholarships um, from a, from the organization with collaboration with the business school. So students can start to get scholarships, and again, it will be on merit base 
and uh, depends how many scholarships we get. But we were we were very close. We had about 60 something percent response rate. We needed to give 75. It was like seven or eight students, but it didn't happen. So we hope this year, this spring, it will be. Um, another thing I want to share with you is if you need to contact me or anybody from our, uh, from, uh, we have, as I said, I am the president. Um, we have also two, uh, four uh, vice presidents that work, uh, three undergraduate students and one uh, MBA student that work with uh, me. This is a, a newsletter that we develop. We didn't have time. It needs to go through approval of the university. Everything we do today needs approval of the university. So we did um, uh, create the newsletter, but uh, we didn't have time to get approval. So I thought showing you that it will both also be attached to the website. But this is another of our vice presidents, um, Anna Maria. She is a vice president of media. And she did that. Um, there is a lot of good information here. Again, once I post it, you can see, first of all, me and all the assistant, all the names. Um, what will be the upcoming events? We will change it accordingly. What was the previous events and what the uh, leadership forum? Um, what is it and who is going or who was it? So there is a lot of information and also where you can find information. So that's a very nice also um, a resource for you. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Lucy and I'm a graduate assistant at William Patterson University as well as um, Beta Gamma Sigma member since 2008. And I'm an MBA student here at our school. Uh, last semester I was lucky to be selected to go to student leadership forum which was held in Charleston, South Carolina. I was there for four days and we were doing many activities and learning a lot about the Libra Camp Sigma, uh, more about society, so I'm here with you to share my knowledge. Like you can see over here, well, that's me on the top of there. <laughs> we were able to do many activities that were promoting uh, teamwork, negotiation skills, and um, we're learning more about ourselves. Also, we have many guest speakers uh, that there were life coaches, school coaches, motivation. There were a lot of entrepreneurship people who were teaching us um, how to be successful in this competitive world. Um, also, we were able to go to many places, do some sightseeing, so if you become a member, I think it will be a great opportunity to take advantage <coughs> and go to this student leadership forum. Uh, this year, one of my colleagues, here got that was selected to go. Unfortunately, due to the weather, she wasn't able to attend the meeting, but we hope that next <coughs> semester we can send people. And also those days, uh, when I went, it was the first time that our school sent a student to the forum. Right now, we have an opportunity to send two students out. And it's a lot of fun, and you will meet people from all over the world. It was 105 of us. People came from Taiwan, China, uh, some people came from Europe. So it will be neat and a great idea for you to go. Thank you. Let me quickly talk a little bit about myself. I, um, this is my third year at William Patterson University. Um, I did my PhD at Penn State University. Uh, I'm a professor here, tenure professor on a tenure track. And um, I teach marketing. I teach mar marketing management. I teach upper level uh, students. Um, so, um, and that's the class I teach. I'm also a president of uh, Beta Gamma Sigma, the, this chapter, and also uh, I am the um, director of the honors program for our uh, for our college. So I, I do these two, and I teach the marketing management course, which is the MPP four eight two zero. Anyway, uh, what is LinkedIn? 
So if you think about Facebook, um, but think about only being connected to professionals, other people either you work with, uh, classmates, past classmates, uh, people that you met in different events that are professional events, if you went to a conference, if you went anywhere, for example, if you go to the leadership forum and you want to get be in touch with people, you can do it through LinkedIn, not your personal Facebook. So it's kind of dividing your personal life from your professional life. If people, if students want to give, still be in touch with me, I always tell them, find me on LinkedIn. Because that's a professional interaction. And it has no other problems like, you know, mis inappropriate pictures or whatever you, you have on Facebook that you are not comfortable with, um, that you don't know people. So um, it's very established. It has uh, more than 100 million people. Uh, it's international. Um, and it has a lot of benefits. A lot of things you can do with it. So not only opening an account, but really become active. Another thing that is coming up is becoming another way to uh, assess <coughs> a candidate for a position. So when I was on the market, I know that people looked me up from different schools, like they would look at my profile. So today, people, although they want to see you sometimes or have a face-to-face -face interview, they also check your LinkedIn account if you have one. They probably will check your Facebook and other. But at least uh, they, if you have a professional uh, presentation, a representation of yourself, it says something about you. So it's very important today to have a professional profile that uh, employers can access, okay? Um, I'll, I'll uh, also show you um, LinkedIn, but I just want to go quickly what you can actually do. So um, the first thing is if you are meeting with somebody, even an employer, and you know the name of the person, you can check them out on LinkedIn. Why it's important to check somebody out and come prepared? Uh, it says that you are more serious, that you did research, that you care, so that's one thing to look up people. Um, uh, another thing, if you want to know something, you want to inquire, and you have a good network of connections, you can post questions, and people will respond, especially in the discussion groups. I had uh, two things I asked recently. I got responses, good responses of people. So you can really get good responses for your questions. Um, another very, very important thing is recommendations. Uh, if you are a very good student, and most of you are, uh, your teachers think highly of you, and they can give you recommendations. If your teachers have LinkedIn and you have a LinkedIn, you can ask for a LinkedIn recommendation, which will be on your profile. So I'll show you, I have my recommendations, I give recommendations. Uh, again, it's very selective. A teacher will not give recommendations to students that are not good students, so you are probably a very good um, group of people that will be easy to get recommendations. Uh, so that's, that's another visible thing that you can get out of uh, having a LinkedIn account. Uh, and also, if you have good <coughs> connections, these connections can introduce you to opportunities of other positions, um, jobs opportunities, and so forth. So you are building a connection that can actually, and I know, uh, I did the research, I'll show you a little bit of information about that, but actually with an other student, we did research about LinkedIn, and students did report that they got referred to different positions through their connections. So the, the, it does happen. Uh, groups is very important to be active and to be connected to groups that are somehow related or first of all William Patterson has its own LinkedIn uh, group and you can find uh, in several uh, LinkedIn groups of William Patterson you can look at different areas that interest you I'll show you what I'm interested I'm interested in social media and e um, e-commerce and so forth, so I 
actually chose my groups based on that or things that are related to my academic career. So you can choose your industry. You can choose if, if it's economics, maybe people that are prominent people that you think are very important, you can follow them, okay? You can follow them like on Twitter. So there are a lot of things you can do and um, that increases your visibility, involvement, knowledge, okay? That's very important for you when you are on the job market. Um, as I said, one of the main thing is the profile. And it's not only just put once your information, it's very important, first of all, the picture you put, that it needs to be very current. Also, to manage it. So every time you update it, every time, like resume, every time you have something new, you took some important course that you think people should know about, you developed an expertise in something, you, um, um, you had a publication, you, you did something that you can really, you did a PowerPoint in a course and it was very good, you can add that. So you can add things to your profile and people can easily go through your profile and see what you actually done. And the more you have there, the more it will be better, benefit, it will benefit you. There is an iPhone and iPad application. I'll show you the iPad application. Uh, again, it's useful if you want to be on, uh, if, if you want to do it from mobile device, if you are not on, um, on the, the computer and you want to manage. Uh, there is another application that is related to, uh, it's LinkedIn, but it's a separate application for business cards. If you meet somebody and they are on LinkedIn, you can put them in a certain application of uh, business cards through LinkedIn. So you have a lot of things and it's only growing. It's a very, very, it's one of the most established uh, professional networks. Uh, this is the study that I did with um, a, a student of mine, uh, Michael, uh, at my house. Um, and basically we looked at um, how much students really utilize this professional network, uh, network uh, site. Um, and uh, wanted to know if they do what they actually do and if they don't, uh, why they think they, they don't want to do that and so forth. I don't want, to, I don't give you the whole, uh, the whole thing. I presented this in the conference, but uh, what I want to show you here is first of all that we divided the group. It was in depth interviews with students. Uh, we only focused on juniors and seniors. And uh, we try to make sure that we have a gender representation equal, almost equal gender representation. So we have females and males. And we also wanted to see if uh, people are active on other social network sites. And if you see, we, we divided the group into <coughs> non-users, those that don't have a LinkedIn account at all. And you already can see that um, um, there are, and we believe there are <coughs> more students that have no that don't have LinkedIn account, the more you are, like if it's um, freshman or uh, sophomore, you have more students that don't have. Um, Non-active users, if you have it but you don't know what to do with it or you don't do much, and active users. Um, I just want to give you one uh, nice outcome of it, what actually people said they are doing. It was an in-depth interview, so we kind of collected information, open and questions. Um, the first thing people said, 70% of users, non-active users and non-users, that networking and connecting. So you are building a network of connections, professional connections, and people actually look not only how much you have connections, but also who are your connections? Who are you connected to? And there are analytics to, uh, to this website that people can pay premium and get analytics. So companies actually can analyze your contact, okay? It's not only how much you have. Um, another thing is that many said that you can find, you can search for jobs, you can post uh, requests for jobs, and you can get notifications of positions or internships. Uh, also very, very important is building vis visibility, okay? Building your profile building your, uh, promoting yourself. Self-promotion, uh, it's one of the biggest things uh, with uh, social networks and in general, but in professional networks, 
is very particularly important. And also, as I said, being informed, knowing the trends of your industry, knowing the people that are uh, leaders in your industry, knowing the groups that are, what are the discussions that are going on and so forth, <coughs> very important. 